YouTube is in the palm of our hands. Now more than ever, with the one-to-one -one technology as well as cellular devices, students have YouTube at any time for their access. They can watch videos, access information, however they like. What are some of the benefits of using YouTube? Well, live streaming for one, as well as creating channels and sharing resources, resources in general. Let's take a look at one of them. Streaming live events is now becoming a popular thing. For example, during COVID, some parents want to be involved, their students want to be involved in various things. One of the ways to involve various parents is during sporting events. For example, when I was coaching basketball, some of the kid, parents and kids wanted to be able to watch their teammates as well as the children play basketball. So in the event that I was able to stream the video, we could actually see uh, their actual game. Grandparents as well as parents that are children with sickness were able to tune into the games and allow them to be part of the experience. This is all being done with the magic of YouTube. What features make this a great tool for education? Well, connecting world topics and curricular activities, as well as creative sharing. Students have the ability to be able to make videos and host videos. However, the ability to teach students how to make videos is crucial. Geography is one of the classes that I teach, and it is so important for students to see beyond their own current living situation. Sometimes it requires videos to be shown, such as people that are living in different countries, or even a brave group of individuals that decided to leave their college experience and go to a third world country such as Guatemala to see how it feels like to live on a dollar a day. It connects and allows us to see different areas of this world. You can see in this video the individuals were able to uh, use their videography skills and their ability to teach. Why should schools have YouTube accessible for students and teachers? Well, these are just a few things. You have the collaboration where playlists can be shared with other people. I have not done that before with class, but learning this in EdTech will allow me to have students be able to draw in new content and as well as encourage exploration of various things that are already online. There are 21st century skills with videography being a popular thing. This will also allow students to be able to be creative in their display of knowledge and allow them to showcase what they know through the means of media. I also like to use this to teach other students and teachers. Learning how to make videos is an important skill. For example, we all like to have soundtracks. Having a background music such as this will require students to understand that they need to be able to showcase credit and allow them to make sure they follow copyright rules. Royalty music such as Ben Sound Forge or I'm royalty music such as bensound.com allow us to be able to use various tracks that other people have created and not be charged and not violate any copyright. YouTube has allowed me to make various instructional videos for teacher and students to be able to see. For example, let's take a look at this particular video. I was able to teach kids how to be able to write with a PDF writer on their computer and they were to save with Canva. By me demonstrating step by step through this video, I was able to be able to have the kids simulate writing on PDFs and let's take a look, writing on PDFs, drawing on PDFs, as well as recording their answers and allowing them to submit their answers through Google Classroom, which ultimately makes a digital flat platform or digital way of printing things a lot easier. This is all done with the magic of YouTube. Finally, how will we use YouTube in our position? Well, we definitely need to host videos. We need to post them somewhere, and YouTube does a great job of commonizing codecs and different formats and allowing kids to see things at an optimal level with good, great video quality. We can offer digital lessons. We can teach videography, which is a 21st century skill. Like what I said before, we have a collaborative, collaborative playlist and we can use this for geography classes. I can literally take the kids to different parts of the world by showing videos rather than just reading about it and seeing pictures to experience it through the magic of videos, a different experience. We also learn through the magic of using Google. We also learn through the magic of using YouTube embedded within Google Forms. Students can be able to learn while watching at a self-paced 
lessons while answering questions to keep them accountable. YouTube truly is an amazing resource that I plan on using throughout the class.